Hey there, fellows. Okay, so right here I've got a wonderful little lot of, and you might recall... Actually, this one has been through quite a lot. It's rocking a pneumatic door opener, an automatic transmission. Also, it has a trick suspension, consisting of gas cylinders for an office chair. And the modification of this automobile needs to continue. So why don't we pull a page out of the hypercar handbook and make... An air brake wing device for a lot of... And as for how we're gonna go about it... Well, in true Garage 54 fashion. With the help of some hard rock. And even a bit of heavy metal. Also a tiny dab of country. <laughs> so that's a good place to start. Anyway, so we still have those terrific air cylinders, a compressor and a reservoir. All of that works absolutely perfectly. So the idea is to chop the roof. I mean, we don't have a wing, so that's really our only option. Okay, so we install the cylinders. And from there, at the press of a button, we facilitate braking from a speed that we have yet to determine. We'll be lifting the roof to see how well that sort of wing even works. We'll try and see how effective it is, but first we have to put it all together. We only get to the testing after that. All right, let's make us a wing for this lotum. Okay, so the holiday season is over. But for our fanbase, we want the holidays to continue. And so we've prepared a new present for you. Everybody who spends a hundred dollars or more in our shop is gonna receive a special little surprise from me personally. It could be a video message for you or a friend, my autograph on a t-shirt or a hoodie, or an autographed postcard. Make sure to specify what you want in the order form. Always in stock we have sick looking hoodies, stylish hats, t-shirts, caps, mugs, stickers, key fobs, as well as accessories for your cars. Plus, we are always cooking up new merch ideas, so treat yourself or someone close to some Garage 54 goodness. Hit the link in the description, spend $100 or more, and get a nice little personalized bonus. Make sure to use the code GARAGE100, good for a solid discount. We make a DIY air break for a lot of translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, fellas, we're looking good. And just as I promised, we've made it to a big field where we can experiment. The wing is in place and it even works. Okay, open it. I mean, break. I don't even know what word to use. Why is it wobbling? Did something freeze in there? Yeah, with this chilly weather, the cylinders seem to be freezing up. But no worries. Jiggling them around should get them unstuck. Help them thaw. See that? We can open and close it. Bring it up. Bring it down. Oh, this side is severely wobbly. Pop it. And that's how it works. So what we need to do now is... Get the car up to about 40 k's. Put the gearbox into neutral and uh, just see how far the car is able to coast until coming to a full stop. Then we get up to speed once more, make it to the same spot, put the gearbox into neutral again. But this time we're gonna activate the wing and see how that affects the stopping distance. Why from 40 k's though? Well, we're afraid that after a certain speed it'll be ripped off, and we don't know that speed yet. We have absolutely no idea. We are gonna try to find that out a tad later, but for now we're gonna keep it at 40. We might try 60, I don't know. Okay, let's do this. All right. 
heading to the starting line. So I'm gonna start by getting the car up to speed, then I put the gearbox into neutral, and then we see how far the car is gonna coast. That's 40 and now we just roll. Just coasting without touching any of the pedals. Not going for the brakes or the clutch. The car is just rolling. That's 22. 18. 17. 15. 14. And that was a near crash. The speed dropped to 13 k's. It was coasting with such ease. Okay, now let's see... How far it rolls with the roof popped open. 40. That's quite some ventilation we got going. Wait, what the... It decided it doesn't want to stay up? Okay, here we go. 16. 15. 14. It can't be. Did that improve the aerodynamics? Man, how is that even possible? With the roof down, I was approaching this spot at 13 kilometers an hour. But now it was 14. We need to repeat the test. Here we go. 35. 37, 38. 40. And we coast. Oh, now I get it. I might have strayed from the packed surface. Because the snow on the road is mostly loose. There we go, 30, 27, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, and break. Looks like the wing works after all. I just had to start braking at 21 k's. Or we can call it 20 for a good measure. And now let's try that again. Just to be certain. Does this work or does this not? 40. And immediately it gets really cold in here. I have plenty of warm air coming from the heater vents, but once that comes up, the warm air dissipates all of a sudden. Okay, that's 20. Well, what can I even say? I had to start braking at 18 kilometers an hour. It does seem to work, if only barely. So that's pretty nice. Well, and those are the results. So the first time I got up to speed, well, it appears that I might have veered slightly to the left, into the soft snow, where the car was shedding more speed than on a packed surface. That I corrected the next time around, as in I was able to stick to the groove with the packed snow and get rid of any unwanted resistance. Anyway, so... So I was always braking at the very end, when my bumper was about to plow into a pile of snow. With the roof down, I was hitting the brakes at a speed of about... 20 or 21 k's. So over that entire distance, the speed drops from 40 to about 20 kilometers an hour. Meanwhile, with the roof open, I had to brake at a speed of about 17 to 19 kilometers an hour. So the difference is, let's say, minuscule, but I'd say it's enough to confirm that the wing actually works. So the wing setup does somewhat slow the car down. Yeah, this does make the car's aerodynamics worse, it appears. The air, the drag it creates, does start to slow the car down. And that's good. Though, in my opinion, 40 kilometers an hour is not enough to see any real difference. At 100, it'll definitely be torn off. So let's go with a happy medium and try it at 60 kilometers an hour. See what happens at that speed. Here we go.
It has got some legs with the Autobox. This is good. If only it weren't jumping around so much. That's 60. And we're in neutral. It's all good. But I don't have enough room. Even just to coast. 40. 38. Abort mission. 38 Ks. Yeah, we don't have enough room. But hopefully we can get some sort of rough idea. It's getting into my eyes. Oh wow, that's already 40. 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33. Oh my goodness. Isn't that something? So at these sorts of speeds, you can really feel it working. I mean, we were expecting this to work. But this is just... You obviously have way more drag at a higher speed. And that gives this a much more pronounced effect. So much more pronounced. Moving along nicely. Oh, the gearbox kicked down. You have to be quick when popping it open. That's already 30, 28, 27. Oh, get back up, William. 25? No, oh, it broke off. 25? For real? Okay, that's enough. We should have welded in some reinforcement. We tore a few things off. Yeah, on top of pushing it up, these are also supposed to hold it in. Okay, we're... Oh, now are we back to the starting line? Okay, now I think... We should bring the speed up... Even higher. Because... It's an experiment. Did you see how... The drag was slowing it down? So this works rather well. Very good stuff. All right, let's do this. Holding onto the roof, just in case. Who knows what might happen? Okay, fantastic. We are really moving. Man, I didn't even push the button yet. And already it popped open. As soon as I let go of it. Well, go figure with the oncoming air and such. Holy cow. You, where'd my wing go? Wing, where are you? I was holding it closed with my hand. Then I let it go, went for the button. Apparently the car took a hop. That created a gap and it came flying right off. <laughs> well, now we know at about what speed hoods pop open. I'd say I was going about 67, maybe. Or 65. Well, yeah. I was still accelerating. I was definitely going full tilt. The gearbox even kicked down at some point. Man, cool. Uh, can you help me get out? So there you have it, those are the results. As soon as I got up to a bit over 60 kilometers an hour, I didn't even need to push the button. At that kind of speed, you have massive drag. So much so that... I was going a bit over 60 kilometers an hour. Then I hit a bump in the road that apparently created a gap. I was still holding it in place at that point. 
And that's when the airstream picked it up and tore it off. Look at it pulled all the way back. As for the actual results, well, at 40Ks it works, but only just. The roof wasn't going up too high, the gap between it and the windshield was pretty small. So yeah, at 40 km an hour it wasn't particularly effective. But then we brought the speed up to 60, and that was a completely different ball game. That's when I really felt it start to do something. Also, some of the hardware was bent, which allowed it to go much higher up. It started assuming a position closer to vertical. At 60 it almost even came flying off, with how high it came up. That made for some very effective deceleration. So with the roof down, I remember coasting to the snow pile at 38 km an hour. But when it was almost vertical, I was rolling up to it at 25, and the speed was still dropping. This was awesome. Indeed, air brakes work, all of those wings, spoilers and so on. So if you're running something on your car that was properly engineered, it's going to work, beyond a doubt. Just like the air brake wing we made for this Lotta. <laughs> and that's all I got for you, you saw it all for yourselves. But the car is not dead. I'm sure it'll be appearing in future episodes. We'll patch it up once we get back to base, and all will be well. So it works, everything is great. I am very glad we did this. Okay, that's all I got. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.